Now, they've played some of the most memorable music of all time, but we rarely know their names and certainly wouldn't recognize them in the street. They're the session musicians who back the stars in the studio and on stage for an hourly or daily rate. Well, today, here on Roscoe on Five, we put the spotlight on them. And in a moment, live in the studio, we'll have a trio of uh, Britain's leading session musicians. But first, Martin Shankleman's been to Cardiff to meet one session man who's turned his back on the rock and roll life. The name Mickey G may not mean much to the general public, but in musical circles he's hailed as one of the best guitarists of his kind in Britain. His country-picking style has been much in demand from producers, and he's been the driving force behind some of the best-selling records of the last 30 years. For instance, Shakin' Stevens, another Cardiff musician, asked him to help record This Old House. So, well, again, it was a country number, Rosemary Clooney. We listened to it in the studio. And I'm going to need this last time. So we decided to try it. And it was in B flat. It's not a rock and roll key. Again, it was a first take. It like, went, well, one, two, three, but that. And just, uh, just behind it. And when it comes to the solo, I just chanced it and come up with something like this. This old house went on to sell millions, but as a session player, Mickey G just received a flat fee for his work. It had been a similar experience two decades earlier, when his distinctive style could be heard on one of John Lennon's favourite records, I Hear You Knocking, by another Cardiffian, Dave Edmonds. Mickey G recalls how he improvised the introduction. It's a count in a four. It's, um, let me see. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I done was I came in early, so it's like one, two, three, and I bent the string. And of course, everyone fell about. And they said, "That's it," you know. And I'm proud of it. And Dave's often said that uh, it's cracking guitar, so I got the compliments, not the man. Despite contributing hugely to these records and other big sellers, Mickey G never made much money from the sessions. It's a fact he's resigned to, although he wishes he had had better advice at the time. Yeah, I do sometimes. In my darker moments, I do, but not too often. Because um, I realized there were things I should have dealt with then. I can't do anything about it now. But um, that's life, you know. Maybe I'll get my little break other names that Mickey G has played with read like a who's who of rock greats. Tom Jones, Joe Cocker, Bill Wyman and Charlie Watts. He once played before a crowd of more than half a million in California, but now he's content to play before 50 people at a Cardiff pub. He says he's had enough of the rock and roll lifestyle. I got tired of it. I've seen more airplanes and hotels than I ever, ever want to see again, you know. I, I had enough of that. I, I like to sleep in my own bed at night and come home and have tea in my own house. Just for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Now into his middle age, G, who still lives in Cardiff, has one abiding ambition as yet unrealized. I've been on more records than I can ever remember playing for people, but I would like um, my name on the label, as they say. I'd like to see a bit of plastic or a CD that says Mickey G on it. And maybe I will. It's never too late in this business, you know. You never count anybody out. There's always room for a good pick-out. Mm -hmm. 